Now let's tell you about the other man making headlines, Donald Trump's running mate, his pick for vice president, that's J.D. Vance. If you do not follow U.S. politics, it may have come as a bit of a surprise. You may have expected a, a Vivek Ramaswamy or a Ron DeSantis. But among Republicans, it was apparently the obvious choice. First, let's take a look at his career. Vance hails from the U.S. state of Ohio. He has served in the U.S. Army, including in the Iraq War. He also has a law degree from Yale. After that, he joined an investment firm in Silicon Valley. But Vance's big moment came in the year 2016. That's when he published a memoir, Hillbilly Elegy. That's what it was called. This book narrates his life in rural and working class America, and it struck a chord with a lot of people. The book ended up being a bestseller. Interestingly, Vance did not support Donald Trump in the year 2016. He was a vocal critic at the time. He called Trump an American Hitler, a terrible candidate that he would never support. So what changed his mind? Well, Vance says that Trump's policies forced a rethink. Others say that it was just political opportunism. Either way, it has worked because in 2022, Vance was elected to the U.S. Senate. And now he is Trump's pick for vice president. Take a look at his nomination at the Republican convention. The question is on the motion that Senator J.D. Vance be nominated by acclamation. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye! All those opposed signify by saying no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the motion is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Now, the obvious question is this. Why Vance? Well, there are mainly four reasons behind Donald Trump's pick. Number one is age. J.D. Vance is just 39 years old. Trump is twice his age, and Joe Biden is more than twice his age. So the nomination is like a balancing act for the Republican ticket. An old president, but a young vice president. Reason number two is policy. Vance is almost always on the same page as Donald Trump. And when he's not, he won't push his opinion. Instead, he will change it. Just consider abortion. Earlier, Vance had a radical position on the issue, the issue of abortion. He said even victims of rape or incest should not get an abortion. But Donald Trump's position is different. A, he believes in exceptions for rape. And B, he wants U.S. states to set the law on abortions. So what did J.D. Vance do? He backed away from his pre previous position. Same with foreign policy. Vance has echoed Trump's position on Ukraine. First, he wanted to stop military aid to Kiev, but now he wants negotiations to end the war. Russia would not have invaded Ukraine if Donald Trump had been president. Everybody agrees with it. I think what President Trump has promised to do is go in there, negotiate with the Russians and Ukrainians, bring this thing to a rapid close so that America can focus on the real issue, which is China. Even Joe Biden talked about this. He called Vance a Trump clone. What do you make of J.D. Vance? J.D. Vance. What do you think of J.D. Vance? He's a clone of Trump on the issues. A clone of Trump on the issues. So I don't see any difference. Which brings us to the third reason why he was picked. Loyalty. Every president expects this from their vice president. But Trump's expectations are higher. Just think back to 2021, the U.S. Congress was about to certify Joe Biden's election victory. Mike Pence was presiding over that meeting. And he says that Trump asked him to reject the results, to not certify Biden's victory. Of course, Mike Pence did not listen to Trump at that point. But what if J.D. Vance was in Mike Pence's position? Well, we don't have to speculate. Vance was asked this exact question recently, and he said he would not have certified the election results. That's the sort of loyalty that Trump wants. Which brings us to the final reason, Vance's core support group. This election will be decided by America's swing states, the likes of Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin. These states have a lot of white working class voters. They voted for Trump in 2016, but they did not support him in 2020. Enter J.D. Vance. He's popular in America's Midwest battleground states, so he could bring in some crucial votes. Those are the four obvious reasons for picking J.D. Vance. But the Internet has found a fifth reason. His wife, Usha Vance. Usha is the daughter of Indian immigrants. She met Vance at the Yale Law School. 
and her politics is quite interesting. She was once registered as a Democratic voter. She also worked at a law firm that called itself radically progressive. So very different from her husband. The question is, how will this play out? Vance has said that his wife has considerable influence over his career. In 2022, she also helped his Senate bid. Take a look. He's an incredible father, and he's my best friend. J.D. shared his family story in Hillbilly Elegy, and he wants for Ohio what Ohio gave him, a fighting chance. Ideally, this race should be about Trump and Vance, but expect Usha Vance to feature heavily. She has a democratic past, she is the daughter of immigrants, and she is highly qualified. These are all attributes with campaign potential. Let's see how the strategy unfolds. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.